go ahead and apply a drop of water. And as you see, it's already hot. Feels under load. Try to get it flipped over here. You see it really cooked the first side. Learn a couple of things from this. You learn how fast a CPU can kill over when there's no heat sink applied, and you also learn how hot the CPU can get. The CPU was already getting burnt out, so I wasn't put out, putting out as much heat. I'm gonna have this as a little snack. Actually, tastes pretty good. Anyways, if you guys, any questions? Let me know. At the 2012 CES, Intel touted DirectX 11 support on upcoming Ultrabooks and attempted to demonstrate the technology using a racing game. But if you look closely, you'll see it's video playback of the game rather than live gameplay. So IB Beach Graphic, I've got DX11. Let me show you the Formula 1. I want you to focus, concentrate. One, two, three, let's go. Yeah, Chaz, I got one of those sweet ass Intels, man. <laughs> Yeah. Dude, you're getting an Intel! Performance Optimal System. Oh, yeah, man. It's no contest that our Intel Pinion processors are the best in the biz. Titanium alloy processors and motherboards are made for an environment that is just beyond reckoning. Monitors with a refresh rate of 200. That's more than you need. It's more than enough. Heavy. It's so powerful. Dude, you're getting an Intel! Where's the rest of the computer? Oh. Intel inside Pentium processors. Faster, smoother, delicious. Now, the interesting thing for you to notice that this is DX11 game. What you can also notice that I can drive it and race with one hand only. And the interesting thing about this game is that actually I can race without my hand at all because they are driving it from backstage.